Hello, welcome to Ant Chat. My name is Chris Morrow. This is episode 31, uh, Some Spring Flying Ants. Probably should have come up with a better title, but oh well. Uh, basically what we're looking at here is a bunch of uh, alates, or males, kind of scattered about here on the floor to the uh, garden. I'm, uh, Nylandria is uh, what I'm going with as far as uh, species is. I'm not good with identifying males and there was no concentrated amount of them anywhere to really say what they are. But I've seen Nylandria fly, it's kind of like, you know, dis dispersed uh, males everywhere, and uh, usually females too, but I didn't see a whole lot of those. At least not winged ones from any of these nests here. And uh, it's the kind of ha habitat that I usually find them in. Lots of leaf litter around, lots of sticks, lots of little like, loose soil for them to nest in, lots of things from the nest under, you know. Lots of stuff all about here. So you can see we there was a uh, worker back there. Um, zooming in, you can't really get a... I don't do a whole lot of close-ups with these, but I eventually come across this thing here that I was kind of following for a little bit, and I was... at the time of filming this, I was like, well, that's a male ant. And then, and I, like, going back to look at this, I've concluded that it's probably a wasp. Uh, lots of reasons why the... Uh, None really that I can say, because male ants typically are wasp-like. They typically don't have the bent, yeah, bent antennae. Um, but this thing, something about it just says, like, it's it's some sort of a wasp or something. Though I don't see any, like, real wings on it. But it was trying to take off, apparently. Definitely a wasp, looking at it from uh, this angle. And it's, it's almost like it's mimicking a cricket or something at this stage. And I had no idea what it was, it just kind of wandered off. So... Here are more elates that we see uh, just kind of wandering around, and, uh, you know, they're just doing their thing, trying to take off. Um, which is kind of, you know, ants are t actually terrible at flying. I think males are be better than uh, females, because they can, you know, they don't have any uh, baggage, really, to fly off with. Um, but down here is a queen to this species. Um, did I say it was? Nylandria? Yeah, we'll go with that. And you can see she's kind of like a, basically she's a miniature form of Alassius almost. It's, at least that's how I always thought of this uh, genus. A couple of genera that are like that. Brancha Nomir Mimix is also like that. Uh, with the, um, like they, they all have the same body structure. Like Alassius is basically a small Campanatus and you know, it's, it, it just goes up and down from there. And here I found one in a tree that took off. Just, uh, you know, she, she, I just found her, pulled out the camera, and she was off like, you know, like that. And here's one I found later just uh, in another garden, just wandering around, looking for a place to start. This is an opportunistic nesting species, so they kind of go wherever they can get it. Uh, I believe I did catch this one. I don't know really why, because, it's, <laughs> you know, it's, the ants are so small, it's hard to stay interested in uh, species that are like that. Especially opportunistic ones, they're more often than not escape artists in captivity, especially Tapanoma. At least that's my opinion of them. And you see uh, the Trillium Ludium was still blooming here. This is probably the like, longest lasting of all the Trilliums, that have, in my garden at least. But I went back to the recording Alates down here, and then I suddenly came across this thing that was like walking by. And uh, here I got just a better angle of, uh, that's a little Temnothrax worker, and I thought it was a Temnothrax, but now I have to check my ID because... Along came walking by this, and I, I took a look at her, and I said, oh, that's a Mermica Queen. And then I kind of looked up what Mermica Queens look like, and I, it, she didn't really match 100%. So I made up a, uh, a identification thread on the forum, and I was immediately told, uh, well, not immediately, but, you know, I, was, I got uh, an answer within a couple of days, uh, that this is most likely a uh, Stanima Queen, which I thought was really neat, because that's not a genus that I'm... That the, you know, I, I, uh, someone had another thread saying, you know, how many ant species are in your yard? And uh, apparently I'm leading the uh, the race there. Because <laughs> uh, I, I didn't even know I had Stenema in my yard. Uh, so that was neat. And uh, I have to go back and, like, I looked at what Stenema, Stenema workers looked like, and they look exactly like Temnothrax. Uh, so I, had, I have to, like, re-identify everything. And uh, the main thing to look for with uh, these ants is... Um, the patola, the first segment on the stenoma, will be like really long and then bumpy. And uh, also, I think I found the leptothorax also, which is basically temnothrax. But like the me the mesosoma or thorax area, whichever you're up with, is uh, it's kind of bulky. It's it's like really bulky looking. And uh, on another day, pretty much same time in the uh, springtime here, where's what we're looking at, I found a uh, Campanatus male. 
and you know, it's kind of boring, but you know, when you find an A-late like that out in the open not really doing anything, they're more or less just waiting for something. It typically means, um, especially if you find them away from the nest, it typically means that they're, they've flown and, uh, you know, but they did not accomplish what they needed to do, so they're just kind of chilling out and waiting to, uh, you know, waiting for more conditions when colonies will fly, because they don't always return back to where they need to go. And uh, basically, when you find alates like that, it means you know start looking for queens, basically, especially to that species. And here on a uh, cup plant, which gets rather big, and uh, I don't really go into, I can't really go into why, because uh, why it's this is a cup plant. But this is a uh, Compnatus queen, which is significantly bigger than what we were looking at. And what she's doing here is just hanging out, waiting for a good gust of wind, and she's just going to take off. And she was another one of those had a camera with me, so why not? And I don't know what species she is. I've, you know, she's one of the smaller Componatus, I know that. And it's one of the three listed there, Caria, Neuraticus, or uh, Discolor, probably. And uh, also lifting uh, up uh, logs, um, other the larger Componatus are also flying. And here you can see I found a uh, Componatus uh, castanius queen which is the more solid orange of the uh, two. There's, there's two orange ones in my area. Campanas Americanus is the other one, which has black, and I made the choice to just leave her where she is. Mostly because I caught already caught a queen of this species, and, uh, you know, I don't... Like, the colony that's out in my yard really isn't doing that good this year, so I figure if I can get two of those going, you know, why not let nature take its course? So that's what's fl been flying uh, around. Uh, in the springtime, and we're going to just watch something curious for a little bit. I have no idea what this thing is doing. It's some sort of a fly, and it's conducting? Doing a dance or some sort? It's uh, doing something. So anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Chris Murrow, and uh, yeah. Here's a click bug. A uh, large-eyed click bug, which was kind of fun to look at. They just kind of click. Gonna this thing was almost two inches long. So you know, and it's kind of neat because I find these out in the um, out in the woods, and then I come home and I find these in my yard. And I'm like, oh, cool, kickback. So anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Chris Marrow, and uh, happy hunting.